everybody. Uh, today I will be going through the best way to uh, my the way I configured the dolphin emulator um, so that it could have the fastest possible speed so that I could get it to a hundred percent graphics I use the if you if you have windows um, and you would know if you have windows because it looks like that sort of windows um, 7 that's what it looks like and you would see that and uh, Microsoft security essentials if you have this if you have windows and it's genuine windows uh, you'll know you have it if unless you use something else now um, I'm not saying other things are bad I'm just saying that I use security essentials um, now uh, the what I use I use direct 3d 11 um, uh, hmm. I use direct 3d 11 instead of number 9 or OpenGL. The software render is very slow. It says software rendering is an order of magnitude slower than the using the other backends. It's only useful for debugging purposes. Do you really want to enable software rendering? If unsure, select no. Now I keep Direct 3D 11 on, and that changes the screen. Uh, my full screen resolution is 1280 by 720. I have the FPS frames per second to be shown. Under enhancements, I have internal resolution 1x. Um, Anti-aliasing, none. Uh, some type of filtering, 1x. Scaled EFB copy. I keep that one on. Under hacks, I have skip EFB access from CPU. Ignore format changes is also on. Now I keep the EFB copies on texture because they look better than none. Texture cache, I don't think that... Uh, oh, texture updates from RAM. Yeah, that doesn't matter with that. Um, external frame buffer, I keep that off. Other cache display lists, I keep that one on, although it is experimental. Uh, disable fog, it might make a little bit faster, but usually I keep it on, I keep it enabled so that the ghost houses will display properly. Um, well, so that they look better. Um, and then all the other ones I keep off. Advanced. Um, I only use enable hotkeys because uh, I can enable and disable fog. Uh, that's the only reason why you don't need it. Otherwise, I'll just uncheck it again. Um, if you do have dump textures on, the when you play the game, it'll go through and um, take the textures and put them in a folder for you so that you can look at them. Close. Go to configure. I have enabled dual core which speeds up and enable idle skipping. I also have enabled cheats so that I can use cheat codes. I actually had to find that out. I didn't know why the cheat codes were, work were not working and so I hit that button and I saw it and oh I should probably hit that frame limit I keep it on, on auto um, cam studio is having a problem right now when I try to click on things for some reason uh, let me see does it work outside and uh, no it does not um, I use the JIT just in time recompiler is recommended you can use also use Justin or you can use JIT IL experimental one 
do not use interpreter it is extremely slow I got one to three percent of speed when I was playing new Super Mario Bros Wii and zero frames per second now for the interface I keep everything the same audio I do huh I do I do DSP LLE recompiler apparently I'll when I'm done I'll try that one and I'll pause it and then try that one later I've never really used that one for the audio backend I use D sound I think that means direct sound changing this will have no effect while the emulator is running oh while the um, render window is open for the game uh, we I disable use European RGB 60 mode PAL 60 because I don't have any European games see that's the United States game uh, and paths I keep that on my um, in there because that's where this ROM is um, and then uh, There, that works better. Uh, now, I keep that all the same. And it runs... Okay. Um, so here's the game. As you can see, it is only running about 30, uh, 31 to 34 frames per second. And the VPS, I don't know what that is, it's a lot less. The speed is only, doesn't get up to 100 very often in the actual game. Right now, I mean, right now. When I'm recording with Camp Studio, that's the current status. But when I'm not recording, it does stay around 99 to 100%. FPS stays at 60%, and VPS also does. So right now I am going to um, turn on the other setting, the DSP HLE, and see, and then tell you what it does. Okay, so right now I've turned on the oops, I've turned on the DSP. HLE emulation thing. So now I'm gonna trust, I mean, I'm gonna try uh, this again. See what it does. I think I don't think it sounds as good as the other one. I'll play this level for a change. See how the sounds are. I'll change to Ice Mario. Now right here you have to go like that. Um, and I think Toad is stuck in that block right there. Uh, anywho. Oh. Anyway. I think the other one is better. I think the other one is better than this one, so goodbye. Well, I mean, not goodbye as in 
I'm gonna quit now, but um, I'll change that one back. Recompiler. Uh, volume is all the way up. Okay, um, I think that's everything in Wii Remote, real and that stuff like that. Uh, yep, I think that's it. So goodbye.